Well, Ford's career was so expansive, he touched many lives. Mark Vanderhoff spoke to some state leaders who worked with him. Mark, how were they reacting to the news? Well, they say this is sad news. They say Ford was the kind of person who made an impression on you the moment you met him. The first thing that struck me is that that's passing of an icon. State Senator Gerald Neal of Louisville was a civil rights activist when he first met Wendell Ford in the 1960s. He and others say Ford treated all people with respect. Former Governor Julian Carroll served as Ford's lieutenant governor from 1971 to 1974. He first met Ford in 1963 working on a power plant project. Oh, listen, I met a ball of energy, you know. Wendell Ford was an individual in all of his political career that had an enormous amount of energy. The two men became friends for life. Carroll says he had been expecting the news for at least six months after Ford's bout with cancer took a turn for the worst. He, he lived, oh my goodness, so he had such an opportunity, though, to live a good life and die with the same dignity with which he expressed throughout his life. State Representative Tom Birch first met Ford in 1969 in Shively. Ford had just decided to run for lieutenant governor. He asked my, for my support, and I'll tell you, when he shook your hand, he had you. 135 pounds soaking wet, but boy, he could really impress you. Birch campaigned for Ford and became a lifelong supporter, even visiting Owensboro for museum fundraisers Ford organized in his retirement. He was good for Kentucky. I'll tell you, I'm going to miss him. Today, Republican Senator Rand Paul holds the U.S. seat once occupied by Ford, a Democrat. Paul issued a statement saying he was, quote, honored to sit behind the same desk and serve in the same seat as Senator Ford, a man so dedicated to his party, our state, and this country. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.